My desk is covered with stuff and things from VidCon. A lot of swag and I consider uh, flyers to be swag. <laughs> I go to booths and I'm like, give me your flyers. I want them. And they're like, do you want this free like lip gloss? No, I want your flyers. Anyway, hello doodlebugs. It's Friday, it's Mary. It's the Friday Diary back in Los Angeles. We had VidCon last weekend, so I was in Anaheim. If you missed that video, it was a very successful VidCon. And I'm very tired still. Um, I know, I'm sure I've mentioned in these videos uh, that recently the, the idea of introverts and extroverts has been in the ether. Uh, and the big definition is like how you re-energize. So after a long day of work, when you're tired, extroverts want to go out and hang out with people to recharge their batteries. Whereas introverts want to uh, isolate themselves and be alone for a bit to recharge. And I'm certainly in the latter uh, of that category. So, I love VidCon. It's amazing. I get to see people I only see once a year. I had some friends come in from out of town and got to hang out, got to learn how to Snapchat with Jesse Kale. Uh, Smoothie Revolution, Jesse Kale. I don't know why I just picked up my phone as if he's right there, but he always is right there. I, we're never far. Um, so it's great, but uh, by the end of the week, I was just done, tired. Uh, very successful though. I am um, hurt my voice. Didn't hurt it. Definitely blew it out a little bit. But I got to do a few panels, a couple panels. Got to moderate for the very first time in my life, which is terrifying. And also not terrifying. Once you've done it, you're like, oh, okay, cool. I can do this. I know I can do it better in the future for future stuff. I got to meet some really awesome people. A lot of amazing artists. Um, I've got this little uh, crochet zombie character from Louis Loops. Definitely worth checking out. And I met him last year at VidCon. We um, jived, we gelled very well, and we're talking about doing some collabs. And then we both got really busy. That was like the story of last year. And I'm hoping to correct that this year um, and get ahead of things, even though I'm I don't have a video for Monday and that's the 4th of July and it feels like it should be special, which I think is what's holding me up and I should just do, um, maybe I'll do a super Canadian painting. <laughs> That'll teach them. Uh, yeah, so hung out with Louie again. Got excited about collabs. I met Chris Reniak, who's got some amazing drawings. Him and his girlfriend, Amanda, are so super talented. She does like sculpture. They do 3D work. Got this little dew drop too. Got some super swag. Amazingly adorable and i um, really excited. I, I want to do something with them. Something with artists and I got to reach out to Bailey J again. I'm looking at my phone as if she's right in there when she is. Uh, her, her soul. I, if I, if the world ended or no, if I got quarantined in here uh, and then like went crazy after three days, I would just assume like all these people on my phone and that's the only way they can communicate to me. I'd just be like, these are their souls trapped in my phone. And then people from the future would travel back and discover me. I don't know why I was able to be kept alive for thousands of years in my quarantined little room, but I'm just like looking at old videos of me and my friends on my phone, like the little souls are talking to me. And people from the future are like, Close the door and walk away like we never found her. Um, how about a reading from my journal? <laughs> because it's been a while and uh, you guys deserve these things. What's the one I underlined? Ah, <clears throat> good old vegan poops. That's it. I, um, I haven't been good at keeping up with the journaling <laughs> while I was at VidCon and out of town which takes discipline. I have no excuse. I've really fallen behind uh, and fallen out of routine, which I've said in the past is a good thing to break those routines. But um, some of my better routines, like waking up and doing some stretching and some yoga, doing some journaling, taking a moment to collect myself and make goals for the day. That's a routine that I broke in a bad way. And um, I have been feeling very, lethargic the last couple weeks. I think 
that's why. I haven't been the healthiest, but it's been good. We went uh, yesterday, I went to the beach. Well, no, I got a massage because I got like, uh, for Dante's birthday, I got him a massage package and I got myself a massage package too because I, if I love him, I must love myself. And um, so we went and we got massages yesterday and I, my neck is so delightfully sore from it, which is great. And then um, Pete texted us and uh, got us out of the house and going to the beach. So jumped in the ocean. The tragedy is... I don't live very far from the ocean, and yet I rarely go there. And it's like that anywhere. Like Chicago, when I lived in Chicago, I would rarely go to the lake, even though there's beaches. They're not the best beaches. I'd rarely go see theater. There's like always those things in your home area that are really cool. Like the museum. If there's a great museum in the town you live in, you don't go to that all the time. You only go when people are visiting. So... Uh, there was one summer, though, like back in the day, Pete and I would go boogie boarding almost every, at least like twice a week for an entire summer. Uh, and I'd like to get back into that. But I think it was good. It was fun going to the ocean. They um, There's a new rap battle that they posted that's been getting a lot of feedback. <laughs> and uh, so what better way to respond than going to the beach? <laughs> oh, man, I feel bad. I, it's... It is what it is. I, I'm curious to see like what people will be saying and typing in a couple months or in six months or a year from now. I'm glad I don't have that pressure. I'm glad mm, the doodle bugs, you all are very wonderful and polite human beings because I don't want to deal with that. I got a little dish. Speaking of Pete, he gave me a gift for no other reason than this would be an awesome gift. <laughs> It's a dish, and it says, here's your snacks, dumbass. And it's got this little drawing of a bird. And may I point out the little, it's the, the slight detail of a bird butthole, a bird butthole. It's the elusive bird butthole that's illustrated on this plate. Just very subtle, very subtle. The elusive bird butthole. You don't really see that very often in nature, let alone on art, so. And that makes me feel special. I want to make art like that. <laughs> so that was a good gift. I don't know. I'm kind of preoccupied with Monday's video. I don't know what it will be, but I'm leaning towards something Canadian and um, I'm just getting on top of things. Uh, there's also a really exciting project, something new that I think we're going to be taking the first big step forward on. Um, in the future and I cannot wait to tell people about it because I think it's something that you would like. But yeah, I, um, I'm i hoping you had an amazing week. I'm just recombobulating, getting my life back together. One day I'll clean this room and uh, adjust the painting and figure out what, I'm, what that's all happening back there someday. Um, yeah, but until then, I'm just gonna live in my own filth and squalor. Except, oh, I just bought plane tickets. I'm going back home to Minnesota for the end of the month. So we'll get some Minnesota stuff there. We're gonna hang out in Duluth and um, chill with family. I don't know, take some time off. Ponder the new art that I can make. Perhaps a whole series about bird buttholes, but take care, dear doodlebugs. Uh, coming up next week, I'm gonna be doing a bonus game of vlogs episode. So if you're just catching up on the most recent series, I've been vlogging for most of this season and um this last episode is going to be just like discussing 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 the uh the conspiracies and the characters and plots as sean connery that's the worst sean connery impression ever but we will be discussing just like getting in depth of like what's going on in the game of thrones universe because there's some really cool stuff i was like researching Greek gods, like, oh my god, like, this, the, the the seven are the Greek gods, in a sense, and then the Lord of Light is the Christ figure coming into the eye, it's, it's a whole, it's interesting, um, I'm a fan, what am I gonna do now that Game of Thrones is done, I don't know, I'm gonna get bitten by bugs, Got some bug baits going on, though, long story short, I hope you had a wonderful week, dear doodlebugs, and enjoy your weekend, Play with fireworks in a safe and respectful manner unless you're being attacked by bears. 
And until next time. Mwah! Chug! <laughs>